Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do some disk cleanup on your local hard drive to get you some of that free space back. Um, when it comes to disk cleanup, there's one program I like to use called CCleaner. I do have a video on that. It's also on the website. It's a really good program. It does a great job of cleaning up temporary files, you know, Windows systems files, uh, web browser files, registry cleaning, that kind of thing. But if you don't have that and you're not the type who likes to install software like that, you could use the Windows built-in disk cleanup and kind of do the same thing. So if you're familiar with the old school disk cleanup tool that Windows comes with, you might have used it before. You'll see that it kind of gives you a listing of what you could do here. And I never found that it was really that good of a program. It didn't really do too much for cleanup. But if you have Windows 10, they have a, a much better version of it built into the Windows 10 settings. So to do that, just click on Start. You could type in Settings and click on the gear icon. Or if you have the Windows 10 Start menu, I don't use it, you could click on the gear icon right here. And then you want to go to System. And then to Storage. And it'll kind of run through and tell you what's being used on your disk, how much space you have left, what your programs are using, desktop, temporary files. So if you click on choose which temporary files to remove. It'll kind of run a scan here and tell you what it's got. All right, so you can see here, I have almost six gigs that I could clean up with the uh, Windows Update cleanup. These are files that were downloaded for Windows Update to install patches and that kind of thing. Uh, picture thumbnails, you could empty your recycle bin if you like, temporary internet files, and all kinds of other stuff like this. So what you want to do is you want to go through and decide which ones you want to clean up um, and check the box. Anything you don't want removed, you leave the box unchecked. So I'm going to go with the defaults here since that's what I want to clean up. Then I click on Remove Files. And then it's going to be kind of a waiting game because it depends on how much stuff you have to remove. It's going to determine how long it takes. So we'll see how long this takes and we'll be right back. Okay, so now the cleanup is done. It took a little while, probably because the uh, Windows Update files, that was a pretty big uh, group of files that it had to delete. So now all we have left is are just the uh, boxes that I didn't check. And then you can see down here, here's the Windows Update cleanup. Now it says zero bytes. So that's all cleaned out. And if I wanted to remove the rest, I could you know, check those and then start the remove process again, but I'm not going to do that. So that's how you do it. So you pretty much would just want to go to your settings and system and storage and then click on your temporary files and just pick the ones you want and delete them. And that's pretty much it. All right. Thanks for watching.